Hey there, so today we have another unboxing and this is a beer courtesy of Matt. And he is out of North Carolina. So um, he offered some beers to send out and I was like, hey, any, any, anytime people offer, uh, please just, I mean, I guess you can always ask, but I, I would say you guys probably know best. Uh, what do you want to send that, you know, what are you interested in reviewing for me? Even then, like, you know, if it's something expensive, don't do something expensive. Do whatever is convenient for you. I always appreciate what people send, so. Um, it is what it is, so that's all I have to say, I guess. Um, yeah, thank you so much, I appreciate it. And again, I have my uh, Starner's Beer Reviews at Gmail if you want to reach out, um, if you want to send some beers. And uh, again, hope you guys stay safe. But uh, what does man have to say? Uh, uh, three beers, Bomber, okay. Let's go in order of what he, what he said. It looks like it's packed pretty well, yeah, nice. All right, I need to cut that. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying busy, staying inside. I guess you're not really staying busy when you're inside, but yeah, time to get a lot of stuff done, so. All right. Oh, wow. Old Hickory, Lindley Park. Wow, this is a, uh, geez, I'm thinking back to Lindley Park. This beer was pretty cool in like 2015 or something like that. Lindley Park. I have to go, I have a very good beer memory. I'll have to go on uh, Beer Advocate to see um, if I, oh, geez. Coincidence? This was bottled, 2015. Huh, that's so weird that I mentioned 2015. Yeah, um, back in my Beer Advocate days where I used to like literally write reviews for every single beer that I wrote, uh, that I had. I remember I, I literally was just doing a, a nostalgia check and just like went on my Beer Advocate, did like 700 the first year and then just went, did, I think I stopped at like, 3,000 or 2,000, just like writing every single beer had a review on it, like good paragraph or two. Wow, so Lindley Park, they are out. Oh, this one's brewed with strawberries and raspberries. Oh, that's crazy. Huh, so bourbon barrel aged imperial uh, stout, uh, uh, Old Hickory in North Carolina. So uh, hopefully, hopefully it's held up well. So that's what he said. Cool, can't wait. Uh, I know that you can't get burial in Florida. Yeah, unfortunately can't get burial in Florida. Uh, a lot of it actually was available in New York, which is pretty cool. But then again, a lot of it sat on the shelf in New York, so. Um, they are the best brewery in the best beer city in the US, blah, blah, blah. Uh, best beer you've had from them, okay. Uh, so it's this one. Okay, so this is the best beer you've had from them. This is Burial, 7.2%. It's one of those that just has a lot of words that don't really mean anything. IPA, rationality shall run, run its course. Cool looking can. Generally the the, uh, the the burial, at least the shelf beers, have that kind of silver label uh, instead of the sticker can. And then the bottles also have that fun art to it, but beautiful art, fun stuff. I'm um, really curious, awesome. Yeah, thank you for the recommendation. Can't wait to see how this uh, burial beer turns out. Uh, yeah, and then Dissolver, yeah. So uh, Dissolver is one of the up and coming breweries in the area. Um, one of brewery, yeah, making pretty interesting stuff. I uh, heard them on uh, Steelless Beer. Uh, again, one of the exciting up and coming breweries in that area. And this is Rock My Rock My Dream Face IPA. Um, this is a little bit, that's like, <laughs> that'll give you nightmares. I don't know what they're doing there. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, geez. Uh, okay, so IPA brewed with Citra and Idaho 7, I assume it's a hazy, yeah, from Asheville, North Carolina. Thank you so much, Matt. Greatly appreciated. Hope you guys stay safe. Can't wait to review these. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.